In this video we're going to have a look at recreating a whole surface from some existing geometry. The geometry is a facetized surface from our old stability definition and we've already created the outer boundaries of the curve network to fit it with. So what we're primarily concentrating on is the speed in which this surface can be regenerated by using some intersection tools and least squared fitting to generate X topology curves um, to build the shape definition of the actual surface itself. And you'll see in a, perhaps a matter of five to eight minutes or so that we create this surface definition which while not perfect is perfectly adequate for a stability analysis for example. So this is the ship we're looking at rebuilding with the intersection tool. Um, this is the whole form already created to give you an illustration of what we're intending to achieve. Um, we're going to simplify the exercise, we're not going to be creating uh, the, the stem rounding as that's a little bit more advanced, we'll just work without that. So effectively what we have is a polygon list that's been generated, uh, we'll see that in the other design in a minute. And effectively we're going to be fitting our definition to these curves. We're already going to start with the outer boundaries. So all we're really looking at at this stage is just capturing the shape. So here are our boundaries. And here is the representation of the whole form. And what we're going to do now is just go through the process of fitting curves. So we use the intersection tool. Um, and we'll get a point. So first of all we'll start by collecting information for the knuckle and by default it's picking up quite a lot of points in this case 30 trying to put in a curve of 30 30 control points so we'll reduce that down to 6 and we can see here that the maximum deviation along that area is 0.2 of a meter. Okay it's quite large in this particular case because I am in fact simplifying this design quite a bit. Uh, but the mean deviation is five centimeters and this is on a ship of uh, I guess a hundred and nearly two hundred meters or so. So we're doing this for illustrative purposes only. We'll now continue creating these curves. Uh, we'll, we'll work with a um, six points along the length of the vessel to give us the fit. And we'll just carry on down. So we'll capture our water line quite close to the bottom of the vessel. And we'll, we'll take the snapping of points on and off. So we can pick up the positions that we want to put in. Another one there. We need to pick up key points so that we get a a good selection where there is a discontinuity in the outer boundaries. So you now looking at say two more curves. I am probably using too many curves. So it's probably an opportunity at some point if I wasn't doing this for a video to actually try and refine it as I go along. So there we go. We've got the water lines captured. We'll remove or hide the poly lines for the moment. And we'll now cross that in the other direction to collect some, some sections. Now notice at this stage I haven't put in the, the knuckle line. Uh, this will allow me to generate the curves across the whole form, like so without it stopping. But in a minute I'll put that information in. So I'll put in a few more. Put this one there. I'll 
put that one in there. And now what we'll do is we'll reverse that one around so we can stick it to the knuckle line. There we go. So now we set that one to a knuckle line and everything turns out to respect that shape there. So now we'll go ahead and make the surface. So we see we've got a few points that are identifying that we haven't exactly got a good connection. So we'll just change that around. There we go. the points so let's have a look at the contours so there we can see the contours of the whole surface and if we go back to the original design we can see that if we turn the contours on there you can now see that the contours are on this surface side by side um, for the most part it's probably pretty good the stem area won't be correct because we haven't captured the stem rounding and on the flat of side area it's very challenging to pick up the exact position of the flat of side curve so I might not have got that accurately. We'll carry on for the stern and we'll use exactly the same process using the intersection tool um, like so and again we'll use six points final curve down here we can now pop in sections and we need that point step can add in the surface. Okay, checking back with the polygons. Let's see, for the most part it's not too bad. It looks like we haven't had enough mathematical definition down here to capture the shape accurately so maybe we need to spend more time there but overall it's for a quick a quick setup it's not too bad so to finish the job off uh, put in the midship section we'll create the surface for this area And we'll also create a, a surface group so that we can tie all of the surfaces together like so. So now we're working with one object. Again, let's have a look at that one mirrored so we can see the ship itself. Uh, we'll look at it rendered, although the surface, there's no reason for the surface to be particularly good. We haven't spent that much time on it, but it's, it's okay. It would do for a good stability definition. 
There might be some weirdness going on there with the surface. So overall, in a few minutes, we've captured the surface very quickly using the intersection tool. Uh, it means that you don't have to spend a lot of time digitizing from geometry, um, uh, saving, you, saving you effort. That's a very quick process.